Good morning. We are at White Sands Missile Range. We drove in last night, got here about midnight. We are on the Army base, but it's absolutely beautiful here. You can see the mountains behind me. Um, so waking up and seeing this, because we couldn't see it last night, is a nice surprise as well. It's just a really cool base. This is where the first nuclear weapon was tested. Davey was reading that last night as we were driving in. It was right here at White Sands. So somewhere out here is where they tested the very first nuclear bomb in the US. That is pretty nifty that we're here where they tested that. We are gonna have a great day. You guys are gonna join us. Come on and see what we go enjoy. A new place, a new home For a while, let me feel alive Nothing to hold me back Take my time, just enjoy the ride We're here at the White Sands Missile Testing Grounds Army Base What's it called? What do you mean what's it called? Army base. Army base, okay. Right here at the front, the front gate, they have a little museum of all the stuff that's been made and tested here. and It's pretty cool, so let's take a look. That there is a Patriot missile. It is a surface-to-air missile, or SAM. Tested it here in 1981. It went into operational service in 1984. They expect it to stay in service until 2040. Uh, gained its popularity in the Gulf War, as well as uh, Desert Storm still used today that there is a Pershing 2 that is a mobile intermediate range ballistic missile that actually carried nuclear warheads on top uh, we had those in West Germany during the Cold War uh, deployed back in 1983 you think we'd get in trouble if uh, we tried to recreate the how to stop worrying and love the bomb on the fat man have you seen that movie? I have not, yeah. But anytime you are on a military base and you start your sentence with, do you think, think we'll get, get in trouble? trouble? Uh, yes. Probably <laughs> means yes, you'll get in trouble. What David was referring to is the Fat Man. The Fat Man is a Mark III nuclear bomb. We detonated it over the Japanese city of Nagasaki on the 9th of August, 1945. It was the second one ever used in war. The first was the little boy was the little boy dropped on Hiroshima. Who? Hirosh. It's not he Hiroshima? No. There's no M in there? No. Hiroshima. They love making fun of my there pronunciation of stuff. What? Carrie was just saying was there's some spectator seats and she's right this is probably for if they're doing some missile testing that you can come and watch the missile testing look at that that's a high Mars we use high Mars uh, still today so actually high Mars is one of the best fighting weapons that the Ukraine is using um, against Russia right now. There's a howitzer. Howitzer shoot 155 millimeter artillery pieces. What makes a howitzer really cool is that it can actually drop it from parachutes. Uh, it went to service in 1979 and still used uh, actively today quite a bit.
Here we watch Kerry climb into a Navy 5 inch Mark 42 gun. It usually sits on the front of the ship. Uh, the Navy uses it for defense of their ships as well as defense of ground troops. It does fire 127 millimeter or 5 inch uh, round. It can fire up to 20 rounds per minute uh, and shoots anywhere from uh, 13 nautical miles to 20 nautical miles uh, depending on what mod or uh, what year. Uh, the gun uh, was made in. And no, who said there wasn't any UFOs? And that's why people thought there were UFO flying saucers. Uh huh. Out here in the desert. We were just doing this thing. QX4 was actually one of the first drones designed by the military. It was supposed to be used for taking pictures and reconnaissance. It actually could fly faster than the speed of sound, but it never went into full production or use in the air force. U.S. Navy anti-submarine helicopter. It's named Dash. The F-4 Phantom, actually one of the most used military aircraft for the United States years of 60s and 70s through 80s to the 90s, the last used in 1996. Uh, Gulf War uh, was actually the, uh, used extensively during Vietnam War for bombing, air superiority, and ground troop protection. There you go, that's the museum here at the White Sands Missile Range, U.S. Army installation. It is pretty awesome to walk through and see all the history of all these missiles, bombs, uh, five inch Navy guns, howitzers. It is, that's pretty awesome. The Patriot Missile, which played a huge role in the Desert Storm. A new place, a new home, for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride.